So we, in the first video, cut the plastic card and the four big sheets. And then what I've done is created sort of the, the more decorative bits. So, um, fire door, window frames, ground walls. Uh, one of the big doors is going to be glazed, so that's window frames for it. And one of them is going to be a roller shutter door, so that's that. Um, going to try and use two different systems. So these ones, I'm using what they call the print and cut. So it has basically printed it out onto a, um, a piece of card. Uh, I probably should use white card. This is slightly grey, but it's what I had. And basically this black border is picked up by the the, sen the cutting head just in there. Uh, the sort of little uh, square box on the bottom is some sort of optical sensor. So it knows what it's printed, it references the box, and then cuts the, the pieces out. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So here now we're making it. I've obviously printed it. It's on sort of medium card stock. Going to basically keep the pressure on the knife the same. Uh, it says fine point blade. So load the material. And again, first of all, it will just measure to make sure I've loaded the right material in. And then now, whenever the go light comes on, it will scan to see what the, the reference image is. So. You can see the little light comes on and it basically measures across, sees the black line. can check it out. Never know where it's going next. It goes over and does whatever it does in the corner. And that's it done. That ejects it. So, doesn't really look like much, but as you can see, all of it are almost impossible to work with one hand. But, you know, there it's cut outline of what I thought I would make a little frame to double up the door. Um, could maybe have done with slightly more pressure to cut through the card, but it should all come out then. Oh, okay, so this one it's cutting without a mat because it's a smart material and we hit continue. Even though it's plugged in, it always forgets. It's not going to suggest the other materials because only a smart material will do it. We load it in and this time it can basically measure, it knows it needs how 15 centimeters, so it only measured that and then it goes.
So the first attempt with the smart vinyl was pretty much a failure. You can just about see this is the, the piece with the chevrons and um, again, can I do this with one hand? Probably not. But anyway, it didn't um, it didn't cut through at all. So with a lot of pulling and pushing, it was able to break pieces out, but in no way to keep them organized. Um, so I did it again and had better success. So the window frames came out and I was able to lift them across and put them onto a piece of clear um, acetate. The chevrons came out really well. But the writing was still too small. Um, I haven't really done very much with this with vinyl. Uh, I did try another time. And again, leaving the lettering behind was a nightmare. But if I had paid a bit more attention and left the, the centers of the letters, that would have kind of worked as well. Um, but anyway, a um, little piece of card with some chevrons on it. I probably should have printed this because I could have you know printed an illusion of uh, of hinges across it or some I suppose then I could have just printed chevrons on it um, but I didn't uh, a little bit of its trial and error see what what works best I do kind of like that because it's obviously a very different material stuck on um, which looks um, looks sort of better than maybe if it had been printed it would have all looked very flat um, and obviously you can get all sorts of different colors vinyl so you could uh, do whatever color stripes in different areas that you would want uh, one of the things I will probably try and do with it is use it to make templates if somewhere I want to then paint over and then lift the lift the mask off I've seen that done quite effectively It'll just be whether or not it works to the scale. Um, the little window frames as well, I think, work kind of well. Um, and the print and cut bits, what I have found out is I need to calibrate the machine because it's kind of, it's printing it and then cutting slightly in the wrong place. Uh, so some of them have a little white band on them but the ones that it sort of caught correctly are fine a little door which I managed to cover in glue uh, so we'll paint over that um, but yeah as a way of making up the the thing it certainly cut the the plastic hard really well the window frames uh, certainly the big ones, I think, worked really well. Um, and as my first attempt at scratch building, um, it's not perfect. Like, I managed to make the foam backing slightly too thick, so the front doesn't sit flush. But I'll trim that in just behind a little piece of cornering or something, and then no one will notice. Well, everyone who watches this will notice. So, ten of you. That'll be great. Uh, anyway, hope that shows some more of what the, the cricket can cut in regards to models. Uh, I shall try and work out how I'm going to put a roof on this and all such other things. Um, and yeah, that's about it.